stories of fires, just like the one you saw, start out as a social media post alerting folks to what's happening, like this one from Winston-Salem Fire Department this morning. But then you got this. You get these comments that say something like, you see social media comments that say, you know, if you think this is bad, wait until you see the video. And then there would be another one as well that says, like, the real story behind the fire is here and a link. What's the big deal about this? Well, it's a growing trend by scammers to lure you in. It's also happening with stories that are talking about horrific accidents and things like that. And then they're posting comments to say, hey, look at this story about another accident. And they're trying to get you to click on links. And those links could take you to a page where they wanna get personal information or download malware onto your device. Let me be very clear here. Do not click on the links. It may seem fine because it looks like another story or you really do want to know what happened. What you should do if you're interested is research it on your own, not by clicking on that random link. Now, in case you missed it, I posted a story about a scam email that looks like it's from Walmart. Well, there were dozens and dozens of comments on this Facebook post, and I had to hide the majority of them because like the fire post, scammers were talking on my page, making it look as if they were real people. But instead, I want you to see what this is right here. They look like comments, but the exact conversations are copied and pasted with different names. The goal, of course, is to get you to click on something or go to another post on another social media site. Just don't fall for it.